You like this game, but trying to play it on console is no oh god, imagine that. Good god, no. No, no, no. I can't imagine the controls on console. I'll be back with the Cornetto rocket. Right, so you know yesterday, my plan was to build a space station today. So I had a look through the parts we have available and some of the stuff that we kind of need for a space station we don't have yet. So I think we're going to have to do a quick trip somewhere and get a whole bunch more of uh, science so we can unlock some stuff. Let me show you what I mean. Let me just save that. Let's come out of there and have a look at the science tree a sec. Um, Larry, I uploaded the Brighton 6 on the Workshop version 2 today. Gave the mods a link, so the mods can give you a link to that on the Steam Workshop now. Mr. Rome, thank you for seven, seven months. All the sevens. Jack Sims, exclamation mark rules, 78 months. Kevin with 30 months. Yeah, so, right. Some of the things that we need lie deep down in this tree. Specifically, through composites into metamaterials, we kind of need that. Which is the Rocco Max Hub Max multi point connector, along with the adapters that go with it. The Clampertron docking port. Don't really want to build a space station without these. And this is 550 signs. But the one before it is 300. So there's 850 signs just to get that. And then we also need um, in the high power electrics, we need this, the big solar sail so that we can power the space station. So that's another 300 on top of the 850. Uh, which is, if maths is correct, that's about 1250 or something. And then there was um, this, which I think we need to get now if we're going to go somewhere. Because scanning tech, if you look at it, actually has an infrared telescope for detecting celestial bodies around, like asteroids. We don't think we need it immediately. But this one here, the surface scanner, that might bring us some more science if we go somewhere. And then there's a survey scanner for putting into orbit. And some kind of fluid thingy whatever and a scanning arm there's a bunch of scanners so the plan is i think we get this now we disappear somewhere maybe minmus or the moon not sure grab a whole lot more science what we could do is go to minmus and put a transmitter down at the at the base where we landed try and land in the same place and put the some more seismic things down and a transmitter and then maybe just visit a couple of places on minmus DK Trucker, thank you for three years. El Plagiato, thank you for gifting us a sub to Spins and Wheelies. Welcome back. Yeah, we could fast forward a whole bunch of days and cheese it, Beaker. Just cheese a bunch of science off. Yeah, we could do that. I think, I reckon we can go to Mimerson back in like an hour-ish. Get some science, come back. I reckon we'll have enough then. And then we can build the orbiting station. An orbit, not an orbiting relay. Well, we could... We could build an orbiting relay. Um, we may have to. I'm not sure how powerful that transmitter is. You can land in the same place with the help of Mech Jeb. Okay. I don't know how, but we can try. Have you looked on CurbNet for the resource scanning? No. I have not. I have not. So, I'm going to unlock the scanning tech here. That's 300. Um, the high power electrics we don't need right now. We might as well grab it now. That leaves 192 science. Um, I think there was something else I wanted. It might have been specialized control. We don't need that though, necessarily. Um, so this is what we want. 850 science right here. Um, don't think we need heavy rocketry just yet. So yeah. Hey, Jersek. Mech Jeb landing guidance. Oh. Does it let you pick a point and say land here? We'll have to have a look at that. Do I need to put something else on the ship for it though? What's that a yes answer to? I just asked two questions. <laughs> Are we using the Brighton? I don't want to design a new rocket, Chris. So I'm just going to use a Brighton 6. I have uploaded this onto the workshop again, V2. And there's the link. Yes, you can click on the planet, right. What about the second question? Do I need to put something else on the rocket? Is it me or is that music louder than normal? Uh, 
Um, hopefully that, because what I did on that V2 one was I removed all this stuff before I uploaded it. I hope it's done it, because I'm pretty certain I did that. It seems to have put it all back strangely. I, I don't know. I removed it all. It's put it all back. Who knows? I uploaded Brighton 6 V2, but I didn't call it V2, Hannah. Let, let me try it again. Um, because I can't quite understand why all this is back here again. We're not going to need to take all this if we're going back to the same place anyway. I want to make sure there's no kind of DLC... Anything in storage here that's from the DLC, they're just standard EVA and parachutes, so they're fine. Because the ship hasn't really changed, so I didn't really call it the V2. Oh, I uploaded the V... Oh, is that what I did? That would explain it, yeah. I Yeah, actually, thinking about it, Alex, I think the V5 was the one that was on Steam, so I updated that to V5. Yeah, that's fine. That's the one where I removed the cargo. I didn't remove it from the... Bright I haven't uploaded Brighton 6. Yeah. J Camo, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Yeah, I've never uploaded the v the Brighton 6 yet, so we can do that. I can take all this stuff off, and we can put the V6 on there as well. Um, build fairy. can just upload that as it is you could do a version of dlc as well well I, the only thing that there's nothing on here i don't think that's from a dlc so you can basically stuff whatever you want in here um but if i upload that now to steam public Hannah, thank you for 73. Boyan, thank you for 8. Okay. So that is the Brighton 6 on Steam now. If you want to faff with it. Feel free. Um, so if we're gonna go to Minmus, we're gonna gonna bounce around and get more science. We're gonna need more storage units because that got full last time. Um, so we're gonna have to figure out how to put more of these things on here without them dying in a massive fireball when we come back. So that's a challenge because I don't really want to make this thing any taller. It's a race. It's a, maybe as a container unit I can put on top and put them inside. Uh, let's think. Robotic structural. How big are they? Oh, that's massive. That might work. That might work. Yeah, I watched the uh, SpaceX launch. I watched the um, the launch this morning where they put more Starlink satellites in. That's what you mean. Yeah, but Costal, I'm a bit worried that they're going to burn up on re-entry. If I put them all in this box, then they might survive, you know? See what I mean? It looks a bit cheesy, though, doesn't it? Then we could take that out of there. I wish there was a way of... J 
joining that up a bit better. So it's got like nine inventory items, but I don't think you can put the box inside, can you? An experimental storage unit. Don't think they go inside. Oh, they do go inside. Ooh. Yeah, it's a it's Dawson, it's gonna be like a giant mesh around the planet. I didn't know that these things went inside your inventory. Which kinda of changes things a little bit, but my concern then is if they go let me just put that in there a second. Yeah, you see they're they're massively heavy. So how do you then put data in them? You got estate agents coming around to value the property, Jackson. Are you are you having to move out or you moving out by choice? Well, quantum they can't look because I just tried that. This is this is one of the. Uh, if we just put that there a second. Look, look at the sheer weight of that thing. Two hundred and eighty liters, and their backpack's only forty, so they can't put it in their back. So if I put those into storage, how on earth do I access them out in the field? If I stick them in, in here, I'm just going to have to go with the old plan B, aren't I? I'm going to have to just stack more around here and hope they survive. They should do. Wait a minute, is that not the right one? cheese them into each other. Hopefully we'll still be able to access the middle one. It's going to be tricky trying to right click on these things. Could even put these parachutes around the side. Just for some better separation. just like it's just a tiny bit too high i think you have to have kerbals in close proximity and the weight is combined what do you mean uh i want to do a space station sherlock i need to get a bunch more signs first though otherwise we'll be a bit limited it's awkward the way that doesn't quite fit but never mind most structural bond I don't think for one second they'll fall off, but you know. Now it really won't fall off. <laughs> yeah, so three containment units, because last time we did a, when we went to Minmus, we went to another place in Minmus and we didn't have enough science storage space. We ran out, it was completely filled up. So I'm thinking this time we won't run out.
all the parachutes. That's pod separation, isn't it? So that should be right. Also, the other problem we had is just, like, getting up here. This thing's so... so big, just trying to get up here is a problem. You think the command pods count as data? Yeah, so they, they have... Um, how much do they have? That filled up as well. We should be fine. But we, we definitely we definitely filled up. This music's gone louder. Turn the volume down. I've been struggling your way into unlocking mech jib. Yeah. I think I'm going to change those batteries to three. Or we could put them four and put them here. Get rid of that, and then we can put a ladder all the way down it. That's what I did, Sherlock. We did all that. It's definitely worth doing. It's quite a lot of signs to get around the base. Oh, you're not actually... give us a chance to be able to climb this thing it shouldn't be a problem on Minmus, but on the moon it was a bit of an issue be able to jump to there I think even on the moon got two solar panels inside out uh, on the rocket who has I have no it's, that's a solar panel that's a um, mech jib I don't know where the other solar panel is did we take one off yeah I think I think I took one off it's just one solar panel though it's like that basically Right to the ladder. Oh, you mean this thing? Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how that happened. Seemed to just get doubled up. Okay, we need to get some science stuff on here now. So we need to bring over a relay... Uh, a communication satellite, not satellite, uh, antenna for the ground. What are we trying to accomplish with launch? Uh, we're going to go back to Minmus. We've been to Minmus. We've been to the moon with this and back. So it's more than capable of going to Minmus. But there's a whole bunch of... There's a whole bunch of um, places we've not been to in Minmus. The Great Flats, the Greater Flats, the Flats, Highlands and Poles, right? So I'm kind of thinking, I'm hoping... We can bounce around various places in Minmus, grab a whole load of signs from each one, um, and then head back. And we'll, I'm hoping to get at least about 1,500 signs out of it. And then we can start working on the space station. That's the plan. Build a rover. I don't want to spend time on this too much because I really want to crack on with the space station. I just need to get enough signs. 
Would you consider Mac Jeb cheating or no? No, it's not cheating. <laughs> you can't, like, I've never understood the word cheating as, the, as it applies to this game is a bit of a weird one because you're in a single player game. It's up to you how you want to play it. You can, you can literally change the options in this game and make it ridiculously hard or cheese ball easy. None of which are cheating. They're just how you want to play it. The way I see Mech Jeb is if you play it in science mode, you have to do it the hard way until you get enough science to unlock the Mech Jeb component anyway. And then when you get it, it then lets you just basically get on with the job. And then later on, you unlock another Mech Jeb tool so that you can do ascents and things like this, which you can't do initially. Um, if you don't want to use Mech Jeb, don't use it. If you consider it cheating don't use it but personally i think it takes out a lot of the drudgery of having to just guess you know just guess at orbital in, you know when you're going to intercept things like trying to work out exactly where to intercept i just like getting on and building things <clears throat> you hop from place to place and members you need a little bit more delta v on the lander oh we've got bucket loads of delta v here don't worry about that for Minmus, we've got insane amounts of Delta V. If we go to Minmus and look at how much Delta V we have on stage two, which is which is basically the landing stage. We have 3,800 Delta V on Minmus, which is just huge. So I'm not worried about that because that is a few. Th this was built for the moon. This Brighton Five actually went to Minmus and back. Brighton 6 has a much bigger landing stage <laughs> and, and it uses the more advanced legs because we unlocked those legs. Um, so yeah, on the on Minmus, this is this is not going to struggle. Uh, it's Jamie. Thank you for 14 months. Beastly Greg. Thank you for 80 months, bro. Um, anyway, so what do I want to do? Cargo. I've missed anything else. Got to put the fairing back on in a minute. Let's do the cargo. Check the crew. Yep, they're fine. Uh, science, communication. Actually, does it put it under science or comms? High gain antenna. I think it puts it under here. Photovoltaic panel. I'm trying to remember how many panels we left back on Mimbus. Two days ago, you were on the Greater Flatlands on Mimbus. Are you sure? I'm not so sure. Yeah, I could take... It wouldn't hurt to take... That's the ground antenna. Hopefully that can transmit back. 10 gigs of transmission range. Will that come back from Minmus? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, we've never had one of these, I don't think. Actually, I'm trying to think what we have had. Voltavoltaic panel. We're going to grab a couple of them. You can check under the archive in R&D. Oh, can we? Oh, I'll go and do that in a sec. That's useful. Um, weather analyzer we don't need. Experimental control station. There's already one down there, isn't there? Crikey, I don't know which ones we just unlocked. EVA fuel cylinders. Don't think we'll need those. EVA repair kits, experiments kit. We don't need... Actually, we... You can use that in every biome, can you? Yeah, I think you can use that in every biome, in which case... case we'll stack them in case we visit four biomes is it possible to have science stuff on a planet and have it beam the data to a satellite in orbit which can relay it back yes yeah you you basically put a relay antenna on a probe in orbit golf clubs are per planet not per biome right so they're no use
Oh, well, they don't take up much weight anyway. Um, EV jetpack, photovoltaic panels. We've got two panels. We've got a ground right, ground transmitter, which it doesn't currently have. I think we took a seismometer, but I honestly can't remember. I think we took one of those, but I can't remember. And there's experimental control station, which it almost certainly has. Do you know what? I'm just going to take all of them. No, we don't need the weather. We'll take all of them. We don't have something because we just unlocked something. Uh, actually, we can track on the tracking station, I think. I think you're right. An EVA suit down on the bottom would be helpful last time's trouble. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. What put it down here somewhere? Actually, where are the um? That's the EVA repair kit. Where's the repair? Where's the EVA suit? Jetpack. Why doesn't it highlight this? I don't know which one this is. The, the, these three, it's one of them though. I don't know which one. In fact, we should basically put everything down though that we... Oh, there's one. That's that one. Okay. <clears throat> we'll put that down the bottom and they can easily grab it. You left three solar panels on members. How many? We'll have a look. Let's let's stop guessing. Let me go to the tracking station, see what we have. I think it shows us. Tracking objects, photovoltaic panel on Minmus, Minmus, Minmus. So we have three photovoltaic panels on Minmus. And we have the Birmingham Science Project. What the heck is that? That doesn't tell us very much, does it? Click on fly. Where would it actually go, though? That's what I hate about Minmus, is the gravity is so low that the moment, the moment you spawn there and the physics kick in, everything goes boink. Like, how do you... Is there a way of clamping this stuff to the ground? <laughs> it's a bit frustrating. Anyway, what's that? That's the Probodyne control station. That's a photovoltaic panel. So the only thing that's there is a monitor. Three voltaic panels, a monitor, and a control station. Okay. They still all facing the same way. Yeah, but the... <laughs> it's just so annoying. <laughs> okay, control station and, and monitor. Gweb monitor is all we have. Uh, this is the Midlands biome. So we know we've done that. That's the way since the game is released. Yeah, but how do you how do you physically like can you put sandbags on the bottom or can you clamp it to the ground somehow? Is there some kind of platform you can put down that's magnetic? <laughs> Cause it's so annoying. Um space center uh tracking station.
Yeah, I don't want to swap the pod, Larry. If we swap the pod, it won't be a Brighton anymore. Think of it that way. Oh, look who, look who tagged themselves in. That's amazing. Every time you load a craft, they tag themselves in. It's uncanny the way it works. Scumbags. I, I am so going to park those guys in orbit. Right, so what have we got um, cargo-wise? So we've already got the GUA monitor. We don't need another one of those. We don't need a weather analyzer because there's no atmosphere. EVA repair kit is pointless. Jetpack we've put down there. The seismometer is that one. We've got one of them. We're taking two photovoltaic panels, but we don't need them. Experimental control station, which is that we already have down there. I thought we had some more sciencey stuff than this. And then the Communitron, which it currently doesn't have, so it can't beam stuff back. Build a caravan and leave them in a lot somewhere. <laughs> I could just build a rover and drive it to the end and just leave them in it. <laughs> just so they're, like, they're always permanently on, on an away mission. Um, we could take a lamp, because we didn't have one last time. And they were kind of cool. Got a couple of them in there. Anything else? Anything else we need to take to Minmus at this point? Now, there are some things here that we didn't have before, but I don't know how they work. Um, for example, the scanning arm. It's an arm capable of independent work on distant planets, analyzing geology and composition of rocks. That sounds like something you need to put on a probe and leave in orbit. That's for rovers, okay. The medium scanning arm. Same thing, I guess. Don't think you get 1.5 without going to every biome. Um, last time we went there, we got 1.6k. I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get enough. The surface scanning module. A module that uh, scans the soil, atmospheric, ocean sampling tools. When used while landed on a planet or moon, the sample data gather can be used to increase the accuracy of orbital survey scans. Wait, is that worth putting on the ground then? Should we take one of them? Used while landed or on a planet. Put those arms on a rover and drive up the rocks and other obvious science objects. Does that need to be on a vehicle as well, or can we put it on the ground? It kind of sounds like it has to be on a vehicle, because I think otherwise it would be in cargo, wouldn't it? The fact that it's not in cargo, you can put it in cargo, but I don't know if you can actually deploy it. Communication... Okay, I think we just go for it now. I can't think of anything else that we can particularly add. Okay. Alright, save it. Save it. Check the crew. All good. Surface scanning module has a thousand meter range. Right. Uh, Larry, I don't know. We already put that on. Build fairing.
about four more walls, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's going to be tricky enough trying to land at the same spot as last time. Let's see if we can use MechJab for that. Right, so we want to go... We don't need to go all the way up to, like, 100k. Let's just go to 80. <clears throat> Let's go to 80 and circle rise. Um... Max Q, limit, prevent engine overheat. Oh, I didn't check the staging. It usually meshes up the staging, doesn't it? All engines, separation, fairing, separation, engines, pod, return. Okay, looks good. Now we're going to Minmus. Uh, Pit TC, we're going back to Minmus, mate. No, no, you see, I th I've got a plan for Jeb. <laughs> if we do a manned space station around uh, Kerbin, the Jeb's going to be the man piloting it all day, every day, for the rest of his life. I might leave his engineer on there as well. Yes, I have mobs. It's uh, in the mod spreadsheet. Mods.squirrel.tv I'm not using many. I'm trying to use, like, minimal amounts of mods. I've got a couple that make it look good. Scatterer and the environment mod. And then MechJeb, because it's really useful. They're, they're the main ones. Engineer mod as well. Jeb's the main man. He's also the most needy pilot I've ever known. He wants to fly every mission. He's a bit selfish. I am indeed Zygtronic. Poor Jeb. Well, somebody's got to fly the plane. Happy tail. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. There's made you really interested in this stuff. Wanted uh, a lot of space video. Yo, you watched a lot of space videos tonight. It's really cool when you get into it. You realize just how crazy difficult it was for them to land on the moon, like back in the 60s. It's just insane. Ooh, Enceladus, are you talking about murder? <laughs> you know, I was thinking more just put them in a, in a place where they can't get in the way. Pretty much, Hannah. It's just, it's crazy. They happen to fly towards the sun. Okay. That sounds like murder. Well, there was no simulations either, was the Garage Gamer? You couldn't, you couldn't just test things out and sim it. You had to calculate it, calculate it again, then calculate it again, and keep making sure it was right. <laughs> nice. 
Good. Okay. I just accidentally pressed the shift key and changed our orbit, but never mind. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> right, let's plan an intercept. Uh, maneuver planner. I need to click on Minmus first. Where have you gone, Minmus? There it is. Match planes first. I was told not to do... Oh, yeah. Like, hang on, hang on. I remember yesterday now. Yesterday we had mixed messages about this. Mimus is a target. How do we match the planes on it? Maneuver planner. Let's see. Change inclination. Will that change inclination of the target, I wonder? New inclination zero. Match planes with target. There we go. Okay, let's get, let's get it to do that first. This is a downside of being so close to Kerbin, is it can only accelerate time so much. Uh, giddy, yeah, it's called Mechjeb. I think you have to, I think you have to be over 100k for it to accelerate time properly. There we go, it's doing it now. I think it's limited to four times acceleration when you're so close. Okay. Let's get over the If any plans to go further out and stay around Mimus Moon for now. The the, the initial short term plan is to build a space station. <laughs> That's my next goal. Uh for all kinds of things, for fun, maybe maybe a refueling point. Uh, maybe stick some antennas on it as a relay, maybe. Um, and then from there, we can do other things. We can then go off into different, you know, different planets, different moons, maybe. Are these? I think these are asteroids. Well, could, it, could it even try and intercept an asteroid at some point. But probably Juno would be my next target, I think. <laughs> also a present for Jeb. Now Jeb's gonna man the space station permanently. But we'll tell him it's it's basically like Thunderbird 5. And then he'll feel important. I don't I don't know why they want to harm Jeb. I don't want to harm Jeb. 
I just want him to stop jumping in the cockpit of every single plane I rocket I load. Only time will tell, Crash, if he's mad or smart. Is it possible to use that ascent guard with matched plane already? I'm not sure what you mean. Jeb's your typical Top Gun pilot. <laughs> Pretty much. Seventy-seven thousand. We need to be a lot lower than that. I guess we can make a course correction when we get a bit nearer. Um, they've added a fair amount of stuff here, though. Not huge amounts. It's kind of iterated, but... It's, they've added a lot of fun stuff to it. Not, I would say, not like six or seven years worth of good stuff but um what is it match planes fine tune closest approach i'm trying to think what we did last time um i think it was um members is quite hilly did we go for 10k or was it 10k we went for i think somebody said the, the highest point was nine Let's try 10k. Did that do it? No point nine. Delta V. Teeny, teeny, tiny amount of fuel. It says periaps is at 16k. We might have to adjust again. Highest point on Mimus is about 5,800. Fair enough. Okay, I think the sphere of influence is now this. 16K. Let me just double check. It's definitely aligned on the equator. I'll probably have to do that when we get there.
8k. That's more like it. 10k. Why is that not accelerating time right now? There's the Bangham station, the right members. Well, yeah, but it keeps spinning round. <laughs> oh, it's slightly off the equator, though, isn't it? It's not exactly... We're going to have to make some course adjustments. <laughs> If you want to land exactly there. Right, how do we use MechJeb to do this then? Is it landing guidance, is that it? Pick a target on the map. Okay. Can we um, spin it round so we actually see what we're doing? Right, pick target on map. Birmingham Science Project, set as target. There we go. Show landing predictions. <laughs> I have never used this before. I'm going to save this. Did that save? Not saved. Yeah, I've clicked land on target. Um, well... I'm just checking the options first. Touchdown speed, 0 0.5 meters per second. Fine. Auto warp, deploy landing gear. Okay. Deploy parachutes. No. Don't do that. Use RCS for small adjustment. Well, there is no RCS on board. I like, was this land somewhere? <laughs> okay. Let's see what it does. It is a bit like a Mitsubishi badge, isn't it? What exactly is it doing? Look at that, it's making some crazy orbital adjustment, look. will not work in time warp. It's doing time warp. I'm not doing anything. So it's lined up its orbit with it. And now it's doing a burn. Look at that. It's bringing the predicted thing back. Look at this. I hope it's not going to land, like, literally on top. Click Show Trajectory tab. What? What's that? I don't see a tab. I mean, is it going to, like, literally land on top of this and just splat it? Am I going to have to take over at some point? But 
There's something 600 meters. Why is it slow burning its way all the way down? Do we really need to burn fuel right now? Look, what it's doing doesn't make any sense. It's, redu it's reduced the horizontal speed down to zero. Which doesn't make any sense when we're, like, not actually over the thing, over the top of it. Oh, it's landing nearby. Look at that. It's a bit far, mate. 400 meters. That's a long walk. I wish it had an option to say land within 50 meters or something. Definitely going to fall over. Oh my god. It's going. I'm taking off. Nice try, Mech Jeb. <laughs> nice try, but you definitely failed. It's the low gravity and the slope combined is just a nightmare for this thing. It just literally bounced. Also, I don't want to be like miles away. Trying to kill the horizontal. <laughs> no way that's gonna... I think it's going to fall over again. Especially on its legs in that configuration. And it's moving in that direction as well. Uh, don't bounce, don't bounce, don't bounce. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, boy. I think we got it. <laughs> Manually landed on a slope. Mech Jeb couldn't do it, but Squirrel could. See, this is why Elon should hire me. <laughs> Look at that slope. <laughs> it's like crazy, crazy unstable. This thing could fall over any second. Right, that deserves an F5 save. <laughs> okay, Sigray. Let's go and fix some stuff, bro. See how far he can get on these ladders. Oh, you see, they get they get a little bit stuck there. Look. So you get him on that one, then he's okay. Just that little kink there. But that's still a lot better. Um. The heck. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. You need some RCS. Brighton seven, maybe. So in this one, let's pin that. We can put his swap his EVA module for that thing. And swap his parachute for that thing. No, nope, apparently not. Let's put that more below a sec. We 
Look at that jump. <laughs> oh my god, that jump. Oof. Don't get a sprinkle. Alright, up you get. Let's have a look at your cargo. That's the radio transmitter we need. I need to fix this now. Pick up parts. The next episode of Long Dark, I've no idea. All right, so now we've got. Let's check the command module. Power available two. Power units required one. Experiments connected one. That doesn't seem right. Total power need three. Uh, low voltage. There we go. Yeah, we need to get another solar panel. 